All right. Uh, this is I Like I Wish What If from the <clears throat> Damn Joy. Uh, go ahead, John. What would you like to share? <clears throat> yeah, I liked it. This morning when I woke up, I felt like sort of all alone and isolated and started going down a real negative thought chain in a couple of different areas. And by coming here and sitting through the last hour with uh, all of you wonderful people, it has just really flipped me entirely. And I wow. just feel like it's such a hopeful and positive place in my day and my life right now. So I thank you all for that. Thank you, John. That's absolutely beautiful. I like, I wish, what if? Who has uh, something else? I see Mitchell, yes. So I like not only the games that we played today, but also the discussion afterwards, the explanation as to why we played those games and what we get out of it. And it seems universal that we, it, it, they work. So congratulations on that. Oh, well, congratulations <laughs> to you, Mitchell. That's beautiful. I see Sharon and then Wayne. Go ahead, Sharon. I like having a place to go to for an hour and just have fun and not have to think about anything else. <laughs> that's perfect that's what we're here for wonderful thank you sharon wayne i wish that more people could already be uh, know about this program and participate more because it's pretty wonderful wayne thank you so much and we're building that and you're <clears> a big part of helping us build that so thank you for what you do thank you i like i wish what if go ahead russ uh, and I like Anna and I wish I, I like the ebb and flow of how this goes, all different things happening, whether it's new people coming in, new discoveries, uh, new transformations of yourself. And the I wish is uh, I wish I got together with Bob today because I could would have incorporated in the fact that he's broadcasting from the Wizard of Oz. Uh, <laughs> that. <laughs> he is there. Welcome. This ain't Kansas anymore, Toto. Beautiful. Thank you, Russ. <laughs> I like, I wish, what if? There's Kelly. Yes, my dear. I like, spelled L-O-V-E, <laughs> in my journey uh, this last six months, um, my darkest moments and darkest days quite often came on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. And um, learning to come in this group as I was, uh, it saved me, in a sense, and helped me, you know, allowed me to go ahead and continue to grow and uh, keep my eye on the go and be there for other people too. <laughs> Beautiful, Kelly. Thank you so much. That is gorgeous vulnerability. We really appreciate that. I like, I wish, what if? There's Susan, yes. I like that in one game, you reflected, you, Robert, reflected back to us uh, multiple very different um, support for the things that we brought to you. So one group of two described um, having this, this loving sense of each other. And another was a very different response. And the third was a very different, and you embraced all of them. So it's, it's amazing to give ourselves that awakening that there's more than one interpretation for what we do here and whatever it is that's true for us in that moment is what it should be and it's it's endorsed and supported beautiful yes and susan thank you for all of that i see bob and then paula then margo bob well i like that uh wayne got a job that was a good fit for him uh, <laughs> I that, that paula and i started with me setting up a kind of an uh antagonistic situation but uh, <laughs> when it was her turn she became weed woman i was wildflower man <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome. had a good good going there and i like that with margo that uh i continued with the farmer john personality but uh and she was the farm hand and we just mm -hmm. kept complimenting each other and uh and at the very end the Cadillac pulled up and the chauffeur came out and <laughs> I didn't get to find find out what happened. <laughs> Stay tuned, Bob, next week. <laughs> All right, Paula and then Margo. Uh, the gift giving a gift and, and and giving the give back kind of thing really hit me in this because Kelly 
who always talks about everything she's got out of the program, doesn't realize how much she gives to us who have caretakers and who maybe sometimes we underestimate our caretakers or and underappreciate them. And she she reminds us of that, how, how vulnerable they are. And she shares that with us and that hits the heart. That's beautiful. Mm. Thank you. And Margo. What if, what if I could take the way I feel at the end of this hour and bottle it up so that during the other days when I feel like shit and I don't want to talk to anyone and, you know, I just opened that bottle up and it uh, uh, whooshed all over me. <laughs> that's a beautiful what if. And, and, and let's keep building that bottle together. Okay. Anybody else I like, I wish, what if? I thank you all for those beautiful contributions. Uh, I'll give everyone a chance, just three seconds. Oh, there's Rachel. Yes, Rachel. <laughs> I really like uh, getting to know all the people that are on this call and being in the one-on-one -on -one groups. Um, I don't know how you decide to do it or, or if it's just completely <laughs> random, but it's fun to end up with who you end up with. Um, and, it's, yeah. and it's really nice to get to know the people in this room. Beautiful. I like what you said. It's fun to end up who you end up with. That's a really good acceptance of, of, of the not knowing. So thank you for that. Well, thank you, everybody. This is I Like, I Wish, What If, and your Jam for Joy. And we hope to see everybody, plus a few more of you, next week at the Jam for Joy. <laughs>